What is going on to all my Apple TV Plus C fans out there and welcome back to my channel Movie Files. We're back baby. We are back talking about one of my favorite shows and unfortunately this is the last season but we got some episodes to talk about before we talk about how things will wrap up but today we are breaking down the episode one of season three which was titled Heavy Hangs the Head. An episode that gave us Baba Voss isolating himself and Bo Lion. We'll talk about is that the last time we'll see the character? Meanwhile, Queen Kane is up to no good as usual. Kofun don't want to be the daddy slash cousin slash nephew, and there's a war coming. We have so much to discuss in today's spoiler review, but before we get into it, if this is your first time watching one of my videos, I want to welcome you to the community. If you enjoy early movie reviews, daily and weekly TV breakdowns like we're doing today, as well as live streams, we'll consider subscribing to the channel and hitting that notification bell if you enjoy today's video. Do your boy a favor. Let's give this video a thumbs up. Can we get this up to 250 plus likes? And also share this video to anyone and everyone you know that loves this show just as much as we do. But I have covered the entirety of season one, the entirety of season two, and I will be covering every single episode of the season three. I do it to interact with you all. So do me a favor. Go ahead and light up those comments of what you all thought about this premiere episode from favorite moments, least favorite moments. We got a scientist. We got explosions. We got a character that might have died. And we have Baba on the path of vengeance. Let me know what you all thought about it. And of course, your thoughts and theories and predictions of what you all hope to see in this season and in the weeks ahead. With all that being said, this is going to be a fun time. Again, I'm so happy to be back with you all. Let's get into this spoiler breakdown. As we open this episode, 256 days removed from the finale and that battle as Rin and her remaining army are in yet again another battle and things are not looking well. As we see, they are outnumbered. They have to fall back into their hideout which was an abandoned ship we see her going down the rope and she almost dies but she's okay for now and again you if you've seen my previous reviews you know how highly i talk about this show regarding the action the choreography the shots it just felt so good to be back in this world and again we just open with a bang and there's a lot of bangs going on, if you know what I mean, with the explosions. But what a great way to open up this episode. As we transition back into Paya, we see that Queen Kane is given a very difficult and very painful death. As we see Kofun, y'all know how I feel about Kofun. He's off in the back in shame to see he doesn't even want to look at his newborn child which happens to be a boy which we all know queen kane wanted a boy and she names it wolfie which i believe she said was the name of their father ah complications ladies and gentlemen as we see that the Travantians will be arriving soon to collect their prize which is kane and they want her to answer for the sin she committed in that peace treaty massacre but we see that little sister magra allows her to feed her child and i don't know Listen, y'all know how Kane is just one of the, I, will, I compare her to Cersei Lannister. She's just so manipulative and she just deceives everyone. I don't know if she genuinely loves this child, Wolfie, or if it's just all a part of her scheme to, I assume, based on that trailer we got for this third season, she's going to find her way back into power. But let me know, do you genuinely think she's excited to be a mom and she actually loves this child, or is it just part of her evilness that's inside of her? Let's talk about that in the comments as we go back into this new intro. And again, we're in the final season it's time to get things going. Let's get back into this discussion as we meet this new scientist who has a plan to win this war with a new invention. And this new weapon will change everything as we see it in full effect. And it is full on carnage as they blow away the remaining of their enemies into pieces. Fire and blood with explosions. Again, this show does not limit itself when it comes to the brutality of this show. And that's one of my favorite things of this show. Again, the characters are great. The story storyline the politics that we're getting but when it comes to that action it's a plus plus and this new weapon is something that uh kills one of our at least one of my favorite characters and we'll talk about that a little bit later but this scientist is also very aware of Ren's secret of sight and he is going to keep her secret as long as she takes his orders and the first order he gives her is to head to Paya and kill Baba Vaz and also he wants to conquer cities this is the conqueror he wants to build an empire and he he is on his way to find Baba and he leaves, I believe, this new character, his henchman, his right hand man, his name like Maximum or something like that. He's going to pretty much be babysitting Ren. So this new scientist and his inventions and his bloodthirst to get his vengeance on not only Baba, but his family and Paya and conquering cities. 
I, I hope this villain le- le- uh, you know, gives us something good because Ido was great last season. Obviously, Kane is in her own lane, but I hope this new scientist gives us something to look forward to every single week. So far, he's pretty menacing, if you ask me. But as we go back to Paya and this new father slash nephew or cousin, Kofun, he's in full denial of Wolfie. As we see Harlan, who I, I'm, I'll be honest, I forgot that that was his stepdad because obviously Margra and Harlan had to marry each other for all the stuff that they agreed to to keep things at bay. But he's talking to his stepson and giving him some advice and talking about what it means to be a father and how he didn't really have a good relationship with his dad. And he reminds Kofun, Listen, you need to be a dad for Wolfie because you know who his mom is, right? It's Kane, who's just completely evil. And this is where we see Kofu. And I think one of the things that I look forward to seeing with this character, because again, if you have seen my previous reviews, I'm not the biggest, there's nothing against the actor. I'm just, I don't like the way they write Kofu. He's just very, just kind of a, I don't know. He just doesn't work for me, right? I, I much more prefer his sister, uh, Hanawa, who's just fantastic to me. But I think this season, we're going to see him kind of, Coming to his own, uh, you know, they tried to do that last season, but Kane got in the way and, and definitely just manipulated him. But it's going to be interesting to see him stepping up as a man, but also a father to Wolfie. So I'm, I'm excited to see what they do with him this season. But speaking of Hanawa, she discovers more sighted and there are people in hiding and she just wants to live in a world without fear. But again, we see that this tension between Hanawa and Kofun are still there. We know last season tensions were high and they continue to be high because obviously they're butting heads. They don't agree with each other. As we see, Hanawa still supports and stands by Baba, and he she doesn't blame her dad for leaving after what Magra did and her decision. So again, there's division, there's separation, there's tension within the family. Why can't they just be on the same page? Because they can get so much done if they all agree with each other. But speaking of Baba, I watched my clock. It was 30 minutes before we got the MVP of the show, Baba Voss, as we see that he is helping out a dog who I think we're going to see more of this dog. I think he named him No. We see him help the dog out, and we see Baba is in the wild trying to survive, and this is when we meet his friend by the name of Ranger, and they're playing this game I call it the shit game because he put shit in his mouth. I, I was almost threw up when that happened, but it's nice to see Baba, his lighter side. He has a friend and we're seeing him play shit games <laughs> with his friends. So I like this Ranger character so far, but his wife is not a fan of Baba as we see that he has his past that we know about. She's not a fan of it, but we get our return of Bowline who has found Baba and she just wants him to return home. In this moment here when we see Baba, seeing him broken, seeing this once incredible leader not want to lead people. And this is where Bo Lyons trying to convince him, your family's out there. There are other people that have, you know, that when the war went down in season two that are abandoned, they need someone to lead them. And Bob was like, no, I'm broken. I Every time I try to lead people, it ends up being death. So I can understand where Bob is coming from, but it's going to be so nice to see him get back to that Baba Vosness, that badassery and that leadership. So I really like how they're kind of tying that in to him being alone, to getting back to being that badass that we know him to be. And I think after the end of this episode, he's going to be out for blood. And that's the best Baba when he is out for vengeance. But back at Paya, there's a group of people who hate the sighted and continue to hate the sighted as Hanawa and Charlotte attempt to stop them from burning a man alive, but they aren't able to do so. They burn this man alive. Again, witchery, if you can see. And this is where we kind of see them being attacked. And there's a civil war going on right now. And we head back into seeing Queen Magra being a leader as she has to deal with the fact that Paya is divided within and the Trevantians are on their way and they want to take out Cain. We see Harlan tells her they want a public trial. They want to torment her. They want to torture her for many, many years to come. And this is the decision that Magra has to deal with. Do I save my sister? Do I kill her to save the kingdom? She has a lot on her plate. And again, this is the stuff that I love that they implement in season two. The politics, the decisions, the the backstabbing, all that stuff to me is just so well woven and so well written. And again, I'm just so happy to be back with C. But let's get back into it as we see that Jen is preparing to take out Kane. But Magra makes a decision. She stops them and she picks her sister over to Kingdom, at least for now. Because in her eyes, she sees it as a sign of weakness if she just gives up her sister so easily. As we see the ambassadors, she's going to want answers. And this is where Magra, being a queen, 
Queen. She's like, listen, Harlan, I know you two seem to get, you know, seem to be into each other. Why don't you show her some of that Harlan charm again? <laughs> Seeing Margaret in charge is, is some of my favorite elements of that character. But let's wrap up the episode as we see the scientist does ultimately find Baba and he wants his revenge for Ito's death. As Bo Lion is just tired of the disrespect the scientist is saying about Baba. I'm going to kill you. I'm going to kill your family. She takes her swords out. She runs towards the scientist and boom, she explodes. Now, listen, I love Bo Lion. She's one of my favorite characters. I think they killed her. Again, this is the final season, so there's going to be a lot of carnage. There's going to be a lot of death. This is the last of the show, so I think they killed her. Now, if they didn't kill her, I hope I'm wrong, but I think she's going to be pretty badly injured if she's not dead. But I, again, this is the final season, so that's why I think that she's dead. And also, they can't. They they did the fake out death in season one. They're not going to pretend to kill her again. So we'll see what takes place in that. And also, the reason I think that they probably did kill Bo Lion, this is that initiative. This is the thing that's going to spark Baba to get off his ass, to get out of his isolation, and go back to number one, save his family, but also atone and avenge his fallen Bo Lion if she is indeed dead. So... I think this is a pretty solid first episode. I, I think season two's premiere was a little bit stronger. You know, season premieres are always the hardest. You got to remember, oh yeah, this storyline, that character, this is where we're at with the timeline. So it's always kind of hard to get back in the rhythm of things. But I thought for the most part, the writing was still strong. The performance is still strong. The action's always on point. And this, this sets the stage for as far as this final season. You best believe Kane's going to find her way out of this captive. And you best believe she's going to probably have a, a friendship, relationship, an understanding with this scientist. And they're going to probably be working together. And she's going to have, because there's people, obviously, in Paya that still hate the sighted, even though she has a sighted child now. So we know she can win her way into situations. She can talk people on her side. And I think we're going to see that in this new season. Meanwhile... I think the ultimate sacrifice will be Baba protecting his family, and he might die in this season. But again, we have seven more episodes before we get that. But I'm just really excited to see this this division of Paya, the Trevantians, and this new scientist, and this new invention, and obviously Hanawa trying to get the people of the non sight and sight to be on the same page. Kofun trying to be this dad to his uh, son Wolfie while maybe trying to make amends with his auntie slash baby mama. I'm here for it. I love this show, but I love interacting with you all. So let me know in the comments what worked, what didn't work in this episode one of season three. What do you all hope to get in this new season? What predictions do you all have? Do you think Bo Lyon's going to be injured? Do you think she's dead? Is Baba going to sacrifice himself at the end to save his family? Let's talk about it in the comments. Thank you all for sticking around to this point in the review. If you're here still now, go ahead and give me a thumbs up in the comments and also a thumbs up on this video as well as every single week we will be covering this show because, again, I love it and I love interacting with you all. So thank you again. Hope you enjoyed the review. Before you leave, make sure to give the video a thumbs up, share the video, leave your thoughts in the comments, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of these reviews. My movie reviews, She-Hulk, House of the Dragon, we got a lot of coverage coming for you all. So again, from me to you, I thank you. Hope you're staying safe. As you can see on the screen now, come and join the community. Check out my other reviews for the C seasons before this and check out my most recent review. We'll catch you all on the next breakdown.